basically the Lagrangian function. And if uh, we write this Lagrangian function as a solid, that is a function of form Rn cross Rp to R. Okay, this is your Langley function, which is denoted by small l, and this is given by given by like, uh, your x is your n dimensional and your p or this p for your Langley constant that is Langley multiplier that is lambda. So the function of x and lambda, where x is the n dimension and this are the, the lambda one lambda two to lambda p. Okay, so there are a p number of your equality points. So this is a function uh, known as Lagrangian function that is x lambda that equals to objective function f not x plus lambda transpose of x. Okay, so this is your Lagrangian function. And the uh, Langlandian condition, the Langlandian condition for a load minimizer that is X star. This can be represented by uh, a represented relation represented using the Lagrangian function. function as okay so here the derivative of this d for derivative of the Lagrangian function that is l and if our local minimizer is x star and lambda star so we can write in this form that equals to a local minimizer you know that the first order derivative is zero so that is a zero transpose because this is a rp and r dimension okay so for this is uh, for some lambda star, some lambda star, okay. so where the derivative operation That is uh, defined by capital D, the rotative operation capital D is with respect to to the entire argument that is uh, x and lambda. Okay, so this is a total derivative. So this is a derivative means this is a differentiation, partial differentiation with respect to x, and this is partial differentiation with respect to lambda that separates to zero. Okay. With respect to the entire domain, with, with the entire argument that is x and lambda. Okay. So these are the x transpose because these are the vector. So x1, x2 up to xn, and then lambda1, lambda2 up to lambda p, and this transpose. So this is a vector. The Lagrangian condition is basically so what is the Lagrangian condition here? So the Lagrangian condition is used to find possible. Our minimizer or maximizer. So we know that this is the extremum value. Extremum value means extremizer. Okay, so this extremizer, the possible extremizer, and the 
entails solving the equations. So this entails solving the equations. And that equations are derivative of this. This entails E N T A I L S entails solve equations and equations that is derivative with respect to X of your Lagrangian function that is L of S lambda this equals to zero transpose and this derivative of Lagrangian function S lambda this equals to zero transpose. So basically these these two are your Lagrangian conditions. So either you should write in the derivative that or uh, in the form of partial derivative of this thing. Okay. So, this is uh, basically your Lagrangian function. Find karogi, aapka jo objective function diya hoga, objective function. And suppose there are only one equality constant. Suppose there are ek hi aapka equality constant hai. Then you should try your Lagrangian function L as objective function plus lambda times of that equality constant. Suppose if you have two equality constants, suppose H1 and S2. Then in that case, you have to write here lambda 1 and lambda 2 are two uh, Lagrangian multiply here and then transpose of H, H means H1 and H2 compose there. So lambda 1 of H1 plus lambda 2 of H2. Or we can write this if there are p number of quality constants, then the Lagrangian multipliers of lambda, lambda 2 to lambda p, then your equation, this Lagrangian function is objective function plus lambda 1 H1x plus lambda 2 H2x plus lambda 3 H1. P H P X. Okay. And what are the Lagrangian conditions? Total derivative that equals to zero, or you should write here this derivative with respect to X that equals zero and derivative with respect to all lambda that equals to zero. Okay. So this this is the uh, Lagrangian condition. Okay. So now uh, to a uh, problem which is uh, depending on this Lagrangian condition and try to solve and try to find the local maximizer or minimizer or we can say the local extremizer. Okay, so in next page, in next page, take a simple example and try to solve it. Okay. So next page, problem of extremizing the objective function objective function and that objective function is suppose f naught x your objective function this is defined as s1 square plus x2 square this means we this okay this uh, optimizing this objective function on the ellipse on the ellipse and the ellipse equation has your objective function on the ellipse and this, this is your basic equation of circle ellipse which uh, has x1 x2 transpose such that your x x is that your fx is Hx is the equation of ellipse that is uh, x1 square plus 2 x2 square minus 1. This is your h. Okay. Now we have if we try to solve uh, this here, only one equality constant is there and objective function is this thing. Okay. So now you find the, what is the gradient of objective function and uh, what is the gradient of this Hx. And you have to check this, this uh, uh, what are your Lagrangian function and then you have to find the 
Langenin condition that is total derivative of function that equals to zero. Okay. So now we have the gradient of objective function. This means if we differentiate partially with respect to x1, this becomes 2x, and partially with respect to x2, this becomes 2x2. So this is your gradient transpose. Okay. And uh, what is the value of the gradient of hx? So if we differentiate this with respect to x1, this is 2x1. If we uh, differentiate with respect to x2, this is 4 of x2. So this is the uh, gradient of that and gradient of the function. So now uh, we have to find the derivative with respect to x and lambda. So what is the value of uh, dx with L x lambda. x lambda is the objective function and uh, Lagrangian function. What is the value of this x lambda? This is the objective function plus lambda of hx. Because here there is only one quality constant. That's why we can write here we, this r lambda with the real one belongs to r and this is hx. Okay, so this is your uh, Lagrangian function. Okay, so now you can write uh, this derivative. Lagrangian function and this Lagrangian function we can write in this form. This is objective function, objective function of the Lagrangian multiplier of hx. Okay. So if we have find uh, what is the value of this with respect to x, x means x1 with x2 of that and value of that. Okay, we would have find if we add 2x1 plus uh, lambda times 2x1. Okay, so the first is 2x1 plus lambda times 2x1. Okay. Second one is 2x2 plus lambda times 4x2. Okay. This is uh, uh, okay, so this becomes uh, 2x2 plus lambda times 4x2. Okay, so this comes. And if we have to find the derivative of this Lagrange function with respect to lambda here. So, if we try to find, if we differentiate this function, this uh, Lagrangian function is with lambda here. So, this is x only, this is function of x only. So, this, if we differentiate partially with respect to lambda, this goes to 0, and this hx is a function of x1 and x2. So, if we differentiate partially with lambda, so this is only hx terms answer. Okay. So, if we partially with respect to lambda, so you should with uh, this hx only. And that means this equals to x1 square plus 2 of x2 square minus 1. Okay. So now uh, we have to setting this Lagrangian condition then this equals to 0 and this equals to 0. So that's why we have to setting that uh, our dx of x. Okay. This equals to 0. This is to zero because uh, this x is your two dimensions, so that's why we write zero transpose. Oops. And uh, here, this is the real hx is of one dimension, so that's why we use this Lagrangian function derivative of that is to lambda. This is also simply zero. Okay. So now we obtain we obtain uh, number of equations. So dx equals to 0, this means this equals to 0 and this equals to 0. There are only one equation, two equations, and hx equals to this equals to 0 means this hx equals to 0. There are three equations. So we obtain basically uh, 1, 2, 3. So there are equations in how many unknowns x1, x2, x1, x2, and lambda in three unknowns. And you have to find that values of unknowns. Okay. Your equation says uh, here 2x1 plus 2 lambda x1 that equals to 0. This is equation number 1. And here 2x2 plus 4 lambda of x2 that equals to the equation number 2. And third one is x1 square plus 2x2 square that equals to 1. Okay. So there are one equation, this second, and this is from third. Okay, so there are three equations, and you have to solve these three equations. Okay, so now here all physical points in this problem are regular. So all 
physical point all physical point in this problem why this is regular because uh, you know that this gradient of hx is uh, if there are two or more than equality constant then all gradient of h1 s2 s3 are linearly independent if, if all gradient of h1 s2 s h3 are linearly independent then you should say that this x is your regular but here you look here your gradient of hx here there is only one and non equals to zero okay this is not equals to zero okay so that's why uh, gradient of hx is not equals to zero point is regular point okay so in this problem uh, all points are regular are regular so here if we using from equation first so we get from equation first if we try to write this equation this equation says that your x1 if you take two x1 is common so here one plus uh, lambda that equals to zero this implies uh, x1 is zero or lambda one equals to minus okay so for the case there are two cases for the case when x1 equals to zero x1 equals to zero from equations second and third uh, okay so we get if x1 equals to zero here so x1 equals to zero so what is the value of x2 here so x2 equals to 1 by 2 to, uh, plus minus under root of that so we get x2 1 by root 2 and if uh, this to find here so what is the value of lambda here so if you putting uh, x2 value here equals to minus half okay so you get your lambda equals to minus half when x1 is zero there are uh, this condition of this file okay similarly for this case uh, there are two cases are arises so first one is x1 equals to zero and second one is uh, uh, lambda so this first one and second one is lambda equals to minus one for the case case this lambda equals to minus one so from equations uh, suppose one two we get we get this is the value of x1 here if uh, lambda equals to minus one so lambda equals to minus one this means minus two so two x1 equals to uh, okay, so if lambda one equals to minus one, then okay, the from equation second and third, from equation second and third, so the value here when x lambda equals to minus one, lambda equals to minus one, it just becomes two x two minus four x two equals to zero. So x two equals to zero. Okay, so here x two, this x two equals to zero. And uh, if x2 equals to 0, so what is the value of x1? So x1 square equals to 1, so x1 plus minus 1. Okay. So x1 equals to plus minus 1. Okay. So this means, uh, this means uh, you finally you have obtained uh, if x1 is 0, then points are x2 minus uh, 1 by root 2, and uh, here uh, lambda is uh, minus half. And of course, here the second one, if x1 is plus minus, one then x2 equals to zero. So basically, uh, you have find four point that satisfy the Lagrange's condition. Condition for extrema. Okay. Extrema means uh, maxima and minima both. Okay, so for extrema, or this 
points are uh, basically x1 basically four point when x1 is uh, first is when x1 is zero when x1 is zero then x2 is 1 by 2 and second one when x1 is zero this is minus 1 by root 2 so this is two point x1 and x2 this is x1 and this is x2 okay so this is first solution this is second solution and here for this case for this case you uh, you have a solution of x third solution is third point is uh, x1 is 1 and x2 is 0 okay the fourth solution is this equals to x1 minus 1 x1 minus 1 and x2 is 0 okay. so there are basically four points so for extrema you get four points and you have to obtain the what is the functional value objective function value at this point so this is what is your objective function objective function is x1 square plus x2 square so if this x has two component this is x1 and this is x2 we have to find the what is the value of uh, this function value this value this function value and this function value okay and try to find if our problem is find the maximum then we have uh, to obtain at which point our maximum value if our problem is for minimum we have to find at which point the function of the table is minimum okay so here uh, we have to obtain the all values at these points okay so now in next page okay we try to find the value of this x1 square x2 square at these four points next page sir uh -huh. sir okay. lambda is equals to minus one upon two value lambda equals to minus one upon two up uh, second or third equation ko le lo yahan in dono ko अगर हम यहां x1 की वैल्यू 0 पुट कर ली x1 की वैल्यू 0 पुट कर ली तो x2 की वैल्यू क्या होगी 1/2 अंडर होगी तो वो तो समझ में गया सही बट लैम्डा इक्वल्स टू -1/2 नहीं समझ में आ रहा है वही तो अब आपकी x2 की वैल्यू आ गई दैट इक्वल्स टू 1/√2 अब 1/√2 आप यहां पे पुट लो इसमें सेकंड इक्वेशन में क्या आ रहा है कुछ कैलकुलेशन गड़बड़ कर दिया क्या मैंने गड़बड़ कर दिया तो करेक्ट कर लेते हैं देखते हैं क्या है सेकंड इक्वेशन अगर पुट करते हैं तो दिस बिकम्स 2 हो सकता है कि हमने कुछ गड़बड़ कर दी हो तो x2 x2 की वैल्यू क्या है दैट इज 1/√2 सो वी शुड राइट हियर सही है सही है चलिए ठीक है तो सिंपल सिंपल कैलकुलेशन है आपको ये बहुत ऐसी कोई मैथमेटिक्स इसमें नहीं है जो कि आपको ना समझ में सिंपल 10th क्लास में पढ़ी थी आपने इस इक्वेशन से लैम्डा और x1 के बीच में कंडीशन निकाल ली दो पॉसिबिलिटी है उनको इन दोनों इक्वेशंस पे रख करके एक बार x1 को रखा एक बार लैम्डा को रखा आपके पास ये सॉल्यूशंस आ गए अब आपका प्रॉब्लम क्या है एक्सट्रीमा एक्सट्रीमा है मींस अगर यहां मिनिमाइजिंग की बात करता तो हम फंक्शनल वैल्यू मिनिमम को पॉइंट रूटते मैक्सिमम की बात करता तो हम मैक्सिमम रूटते इस स्क्रीन पे लिखा है तो हमारी मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम दोनों हमारे एक्सट्रीमम पॉइंट्स हैं तो हम उनकी फाइंड करते हैं ओके सो इन नेक्स्ट पेज वो हमारा फर्स्ट सॉल्यूशन जो है इसलिए हम यहां वन लिख रहे हैं और उसके x1 x2 कंपोनेंट्स क्या है हमारे तो फर्स्ट वन इज 0 एंड 1 बाय √2 ओके दिस इज योर फर्स्ट सॉल्यूशन एंड सेकंड पॉइंट जो है वो आपका क्या आता है 0 एंड -1 बाय √2 ओके और जो थर्ड सॉल्यूशन निकल के आ रहा है दैट इज 1 एंड 0 एंड 1 1 एंड 0 एंड लास्ट वन is minus one and zero. Okay, so here the x one is zero, x two is zero. Okay, our x one component and x two component. Okay, so we have find the objective uh, functional value at point x one. So x one is key value. Kya ho jayegi? So this equals to this equals to z. This is uh, simply equal to x one square plus x two square. So this equals to zero square plus one by root two square. So this equals to three half. Okay. Similarly, if we do find the objective function at the point x two, so this is zero square plus this is square. This is equals to half. Similarly, if we find the objective function value at point three, 
equals to one because one square plus zero square. And objective function value at the point four, this is minus one square plus zero square. That is also one. Okay. If uh, look there, uh, if uh, this at here this is plus half, and here this is one and one. If uh, these two points, these two points for find these two point are as a minimum value, so this is your minimizer. So this these values are minimizer. Okay, and uh, this is your maximizer. This is maximizer. Okay, so these are maximizer, and this point are your local minimum, or ये आप देखते हैं local maximum. Okay, so If we conclude that if there are minimizer, then they are located at point x1 and x2. And if there are problem maximizer, they are located at point x3 and x4. So you can uh, write this thing. So we can prove that. We conclude that if there are Minimizer, then they are located at at position x one and x two. Okay, because this two has values as minimum. Okay, and if There are maximizer. Maximizers, then they are located at located at uh, x three and x four point. Okay, so. This is uh, basically uh, the solution of your given problem, and uh, if you try to see because this is a traditional uh, objective function, so you can also visualize this by a graph. Okay, so this problem can be solved by uh, graphically as so this problem can be solved. Graphically, as if uh, this is your okay. So this is your x one axis. This is a uh, x one axis, and suppose uh, this is x two axis, and this source. Okay, this is your objective. Objective function is uh, our objective. What is your objective function? So the function is x1 square plus x2 square. And what are the constants? Constants are given as x1 square plus 2x2 square. Okay, and that equals to minus one. Okay, that equals to two. So this is your equation of basically ellipse. Okay, and this is equation of the circle. Okay, so now in 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 this uh, uh, elliptical equation, you, uh, 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 if we divided by uh, root two, the so x one by root two square, okay, and plus uh, x two square over one, that equals to one. So here you see that here this is your major axis because root two equals to one point something. So this is greater than. So this x one is your major axis and x two be the minor axis. Uh, this is a uh, equals to something uh, root two. Yes. So now, uh, if our problem is uh, uh, okay, so our equality constant is uh, like that. Okay. So now, uh, if uh, there is a point, uh, suppose this point and uh, this point, suppose this point is uh, one zero. Okay, and uh, Three point is uh, suppose this one zero and this is a uh, say minus one zero. Okay, and uh, here in this case, 
if we dividing by 2 here this equals to 1 this equals to 1 okay okay to so, ye yahan kuch gadbad kar diya humne okay okay तो हाफ हो जाता है now this is correct wo wo form garbal likh diya tha because wo se agar main divide kar raha tha yahan bhi 1 by 2 ho jata hai okay so this is question of philips so here uh, okay so 1.14 so 1 upon this to so this okay to so correct hai ki x one hamara jo hai wo major axis hai next to mera minor axis hai and here uh, if we take some point here uh, one le liya humne half le liya okay uh, so this point is half Zero, this minus half zero. Similarly, here you get this point and okay, this point and here and so on. Okay. So now, uh, what you uh, the constants? What the constant is? This is a equation of ellipse. Actually, this is equation of ellipse. And whose uh, uh, major axis is one? Okay, one. And minor axis is uh, one by root two. One by root two. But if, if this point is one, this point is uh, suppose one zero one. This is zero one, and this is this point is zero minus one. So this point is half. So where one by root two? One by root two means this point is located here, like that. Here. Okay. So this point is uh, zero and one by root two plus sign, and here this point is zero. Minus one by root two. Okay, so now you draw an ellipse, ellipse which is a pass through this point. So this is the inequality of x. Okay. Okay. So this uh, basically this is your ellipse, ellipse equation. This is your x. Okay, and what is your objective function? So look here, objective function is objective function basically x one square plus x two square, and you, you don't know what is the value of x one square. X2 square. This means this is a basically a form of circle. Okay, so th these are the level set. So th this is a circle. Okay, for any arbitrary value of x one and x two for different radius. Okay, so you you can find this type of arbitrary. Okay, circles. Okay, and here uh, you find a circle which passes through this point. Okay. So this is a circle. Similarly, here you can find a circle which passes through this one one point because this is circle. So this has a unique distance from each coordinate. Okay, so this circle which passes through this is one one point. This is this circle. If this circle has uh, what is the value of objective function here? So what is the objective function value? Because here this this value of uh, this objective function of uh, unit radius. So this objective function has one value. Okay, good half value. Okay, so here uh, this is uh, your objective function which is given by a level curve of this circle. Circle. Okay. And here, the blue line is subject to the constants. Here, so this is your an ellipse. Okay, you have to find the maximum value over this uh, and minimum value over this ellipse. Okay, the circle. Ki aap dekhi jo hamara jo iski physical reason kya hoga jo ki hamara is point ko jo circle hamare kya kare touch kare kyunki hamara objective uh, quality constant yehi hai. Is point pe circle ki value hamari kya hai that equals to one by two. Okay, one by two because here your x one is zero and x two is one by root two. If we are trying to squaring that root two square, that equals to half. Objective function value is half. So if our this circular value is passing through these two points, these two points, so this value of your objective function is is your minimum value, and which is the maximum value? 
इससे कम वाली अगर हम सर्किल लें अगर हम इससे कम की सर्किल अगर हम ले रहे हैं ग्रीन लाइन तो वो हमारी देखिए ब्लू लाइन वो कहीं टच ही नहीं कर रही है वो देखिए अंदर से निकल जा रही है और भी जो है वो हमारी सर्किल की तो और भी मिनिमम वैल्यू हो रही है इफ वी टेक बिल्कुल जीरो के पास लेने तो उसकी वैल्यू बिल्कुल अप्रॉक्स जीरो आएगी बिल्कुल यहाँ ओरिजिन के पास बट वो हमारी फिजिकल में नहीं क्योंकि कॉन्स्टेंट को क्या कर रही है सेटिस्फाई नहीं कर रही है सर्कल कौन सा सर्कल है ऐसा कौन सा सर्कल ऐसा तो दिख रहा है जो कि हमारी क्वालिटी कॉन्स्टेंट्स को सेटिस्फाई करे तो ये जो सर्कल है जो पॉइंट ओके तो ये जो सर्कल है हमारा वो दस जस्ट टच कर रहा है इस पॉइंट पे जिसमें दिस सेटिस्फाई जो क्वालिटी कॉन्स्टेंट और इस सर्कल की जो मिनिमम वैल्यू होगी दैट इज यू एफ नॉट दिस थिंग क्योंकि इसके नीचे जो आप आओगे वो हमारी को में मेरी वो होगी ही नहीं ओके अब इसके ऊपर है ये देखिए यहाँ पे टच कर रही है ये फिजिकल रीजन है ओके तो ये भी इसकी वैल्यू कुछ ना कुछ की ओके और वो हमारी फंक्शन की वैल्यू होगी बट दैट वैल्यू इज नॉट मैक्सिमम दैट वैल्यू इज नॉट मैक्सिमम हमें जो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू फाइंड करनी है वो कौन सी वैल्यू होगी जो बिल्कुल इसके स्क्रीन पर टच कर रही है वहां भी मेरी फंक्शन वैल्यू क्या होगी वन होगी इसके बाद भी सर्कल है उसके बाद भी सर्कल है लेकिन वो सर्कल जो है वो हमारी फिजिकल रीजन मीन एलिप्स को टच ही नहीं कर रहा है तो वो भी हमारे फिजिकल रीजन बाहर हो गए ठीक है तो वो हमारे कोई वैल्यू नहीं देंगे तो मीन्स आपके जो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू जो मिलेंगे इस सर्कल के जो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू वो टच कहाँ कर रहा है दैट इज स्ट्रीम पॉइंट यहाँ पे ओके तो जो स्ट्रीम पॉइंट इस एलिप्स के इस पॉइंट पर टच करे दैट इज यू टू यू मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड दैट वैल्यू इज एफ नॉट इज वन ओके एफ नॉट इज वन तो यू यू ये देखिए यू हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड दैट वैल्यू इज 1 बाय दिस पॉइंट x3 एंड x4 x3 और x4 पॉइंट पे आप देखेंगे कि वैल्यू क्या रही 1 आ रही है और मिनिमम कहां पे आ रही है हाफ 1 बाय √2 एंड 1 बाय माइनस √2 ओके तो यहां पे आप देखेंगे तो यहां पे फंक्शन की वैल्यू क्या आ रही है मिनिमम आ रही है तो इस प्रॉब्लम को आप ग्राफिकली भी आप विजुलाइज करके आप सॉल्व कर सकते थे आई आप न्यूमेरिकल मेथड को ये है ही आप ऐसे भी कर सकते हो तो ऐसे भी कर सकते हैं ग्राफिकल सॉल्यूशन ऐसे भी ओके चलिए Then next, ये तो आपका फर्स्ट ऑर्डर था और जैसे कि आप मैक्सिमम मिनिमम में ऑलरेडी फॉर मैक्सिमम मिनिमम तो हम क्या करते हैं कि फॉर एक्सट्रीम वैल्यू फॉर मैक्सिमम और मिनिमम वी हैव नो दैट दिस नेसेसरी कंडीशन इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर शुड बी जीरो ओके तो यहाँ पे हमने सिर्फ वही किया कि हमने अभी फर्स्ट ऑर्डर जीरो करके हमें देखा कि हमारा फंक्शन तो एक्सट्रीमा या मिलेगा चाहे मैक्सिमा या मिनिमा ओके सर डेरिवेटिव हमने लिया है लैग्रेंजियन फंक्शन का दैट इज डी ऑफ दैट इक्वल्स टू 0 एंड हैव यू हैव फाइंड द अननोन पैरामीटर्स ओके तो वहां से हमने सिर्फ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव यूज किया बट यू नो दैट इफ फॉर मैक्सिमा यू हैव सेकंड डेरिवेटिव इज बी पॉजिटिव एंड मिनिमा इज नेगेटिव एट दैट पॉइंट तो यहां पर भी हमें क्या करना है वही कांसेप्ट को जनरलाइज करना है मैक्सिमा के लिए और मिनिमा के लिए तो हमें सेकंड ऑर्डर पे अब जाना होगा तो सिर्फ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर पे आपने क्या किया यू हैव अप्लाई ओनली द लैग्रेंजियन फंक्शन एंड फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव को जीरो फॉर लोकल स्ट्रीम ऑफ वैल्यू आइदर मैक्सिमा और मिनिमम ओके तो ये आपने यूज किया देन सेकंड वन फॉर सेकंड डेरिवेटिव और मैक्सिमम होगा या मिनिमम होगा उसके लिए हम सेकंड डेरिवेटिव पे जाएंगे ओके सो नेक्स्ट पेज next page uh, there is a definition of second order condition okay so on next page second order condition so we assume that our objective function that is f not which is mapping from r n to r and our equality constants that is h or ye ko yahan pe याद रखनी एक चीज कि ये जो लैग्रेंजियन कंडीशन है दिस इज ओनली वैलिड फॉर इक्वालिटी कॉन्सेंट देर आर नो इन इक्वालिटी देर आर ओनली ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन इक्वालिटी कॉन्सेंट देर आर नो लेस आर इक्वल टू इक्वालिटी आर गए सो इफ अगर हम उसकी बात करेंगे तो हमारे पास दूसरा मेथड है दैट इज 
and this means your f not and h are the element of c2 it means second order continuous function okay so if we assume that your lagrangian function that is x of lambda this is objective function this lambda transpose h x there are p number of equality constants so we can write here this is equals to objective function plus lambda 1 h1 x lambda 2 h2 x and if there are p number equality constants so we can write here lambda p h p s that is okay so this be the lagrangian function be the lagrangian function let capital l x lambda is small l lagrangian function we write capital l d the hessian of d the hessian matrix the hessian matrix of lagrangian function that is uh, x lambda with respect to x with respect to x okay so this is your lagrangian uh, hessian matrix of this lagrangian function which is equals to capital f x lambda 1 h1 x plus lambda 2 s2 x to lambda p h p x okay and where what is f x so this is the hessian mat matrix of objective function so capital f x is the hessian matrix of objective function at x what are the h we need to write any general h k h k x is the hessian matrix of equality constant for any k where x where k is One to p. Okay, so this is given by uh, this is given by given by so h k x. What are the value of this Hessian matrix? As del two of h k x over the Lexicon square. Okay. Then del two of k x over the x one the x two up to del two of k x over the x ah uh, two कर लें one up to so this becomes del x one n then similarly you Two of h k x over x two del x one del two of h k x del x two square del two of h k x del x two del x n. So similarly, you can write here uh, del two. H k x over del x n del x one del two of 
Okay, x del x n del x2. This is a uh, del x n square. So this is a Hessian matrix of your equality constraints. Okay, so they have this thing. Okay, so this is your uh, this form. Now we introduce uh, we produce a small notation. So we introduce a notation, and that notation is a bracket of lambda hx. Okay, so basically. This means uh, this means what is the value of this lambda of hx in bracket? This is a short quotation, and this equals to simply h, uh, lambda one h one x lambda two h x. And similarly, the lambda p h p x. So this is small notation of that. Okay, so if we if we using this. Uh, Notation. So we write this form, this ever form. So using the ever notation, we can write. We can write here the Lagrangian is defined as f x. Fx. This is the Lagrangian of your objective function. Bracket of lambda hx. So lambda hx means your lambda one, lambda two, lambda three, and two and so forth. Okay. So this is a uh, theoretical part. Okay. So now uh, this is a second order condition where we define what is second order derivative. That is a uh, Hessian form. Okay. So there are two theorems. First one is a necessary condition for the for uh, minimizer and second one is sufficient condition okay so we uh, only 10 minutes are remaining so here we only write the theorem which is a necessary condition and sufficient condition then tomorrow we will discuss a problem and solve uh, to find this uh, second order and apply this uh, condition necessary and sufficient condition and try to solve that problem and find the solution okay तो आज हम इतना ही करते हैं कि सिर्फ आपको हम थियरम देते और प्रूफ अब हम नहीं कराते हैं प्रूफ बहुत हो चुके हैं आपने तो प्रूफ हम नहीं कराएंगे सिर्फ आप थियरम्स दे देते हैं दोनों ओके और उसके बेस निवेदन वो हम कल करेंगे ठीक है नेक्स्ट पेज पेज फर्स्ट थियरम इज द Necessary condition for second order condition. First condition is, and this condition is a new necessary condition. Okay. What is the necessary condition? So, if we assume that our x is the a local minimizer, this be a local minimizer of Objective function that is f naught, which is mapping from R n to R. Okay, subject to the constants, subject to constants that is only quality constants. So h is equal to zero, where h is mapping from R n to R p because there are p number of equality constants. Okay, and you know that this p is either less than or equal to number n. Okay, and here. Uh, Because due to second order condition, so you know that your objective function and your h both are second order continuous function. So this is a belong to C two. So these two belong is to this second order continuous function. Okay. So now suppose that suppose that this x star, which is your local minimizer, this means you are applied the minima. Okay. So x star is regular point. This is uh, this is regular. Then there is then there exists lambda star, which is a uh, of dimension p. There are lambda one, lambda two, and lambda p. So this is a dimension of lambda p. Just that 
such as that there are two condition first one the first order differentiability that is a derivative of objective function at this regular point plus lambda star of derivative of h at this point this equals to zero transpose this is a lambda condition and second one this is this is the property of that to minima ke liye kya tha dy by dx equals to zero and then second one at that point second derivative must be positive okay so this means second there is for all for all y which belongs to the tangent space t of x star and this space ne bataya hai kaise find karte hain we have we have the second derivative means y transpose lagrangian of this x star lambda star of y this is always greater than zero this means positive second order do no more positive hai. this means so minimizer this is the condition of necessary condition of the local minimizer and the second theorem is second theorem says that this theorem is sufficient condition okay this theorem says that that Objective function and equality constant are the C two second order differential function, and there exists a point that is x star belonging to R n and the lambda star that belongs to R p. Says that, so that these two conditions are satisfied. This, this means sufficient condition means thermal part. So this means if these two conditions are satisfied. This means derivative of F not x star plus lambda star derivative of h x star that equals to zero transpose second for all. Y that belongs to tangent space and Y is not equals to zero. We have this Y transpose L x star lambda star of Y. This is strictly greater than zero. Okay, because here if we Y is equals to zero, this is equals to zero. This is why we will take here Y is not equals to zero. Okay, so then, then your point, then your point x star is a strict, strict local minimizer. Okay. Uh, if 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 this equals to zero and this is greater equals to zero, then your point is local minimizer. Strictly, इसलिए लगा दिया क्योंकि थोड़ा सा हमने change किया दोनों चीजें आ गए. Okay, this minimizer of objective function. Subject to the constants, subject to h x equals to zero. Okay, so basically there are two conditions. Uh, this this first one is your necessary condition, and second one is your. So tomorrow we will discuss uh, a problem in which we have to try to find what is the uh, maximum condition, and also we have find this. Uh, Attend the space and try to find the solution of that. Okay. If uh, this is uh, less than less than zero, then this is your local maximizer. If this is greater than zero, this is minimizer. Okay. So in this theorem, we can change a little bit. That if this is your local maximizer, maximizer, then this condition will be less than equal to zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. Okay. And here, you have also less than zero. लोकल मिनिमाइजर अगर इक्वालिटी है तो सिंपल लोकल मैक्सिमाइजर ओके कल हम ये क्वेश्चन करेंगे आज के लिए इतना ही आज इतना ही करते हैं तो जब सिर्फ दो ही मिनट बचे हैं तो इसमें प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट करना और फिर वो कंप्लीट नहीं हो पाएंगे आज के लिए इतना ही ठीक है ओके और अगर आप इशू हो हाँ बताएं 
सर वो जो टी एफ आई आर वाला था गर्ल्स का जो सर उसमें रेफरी रिपोर्ट करनी थी सर प्लीज वो एक बार चेक कर ली सर कुछ बच्चों को मेल मतलब हम लोग को मेल नहीं मिला है हमें नहीं मिला शिक्षा त्रिपाठी को भी नहीं मिला है जितने मेल आए मैंने सब पर रिस्पॉन्स दे मैं फिर भी बात चेक कर लेता हूँ अगर कुछ ऐसा छूटा है आप सभी ने आईडी क्या दिया है हमारी बी एच डोमेन में दी है बी एच डॉट एसी डॉट इन या घर पास आएंगे रिव्यू करने के लिए रिपोर्ट देने के लिए मैं उसी पे क्लिक करके नहीं दे सकता जो जिसके लिंक हमारे पास आए ही नहीं मेल के थ्रू के पास से तो मैं कैसे दे सकता हूँ बात ये तो जितने भी मेरे पास आए थे मैंने उनको दे दिया लेकिन फिर भी अगर हो सकता कि मैंने किसी का देखा और सोचा कि बाद में करूंगा और फिर स्किप हो गया एक बार फिर मैं देख लेता हूँ क्लिक कर लेता हूँ ठीक है मैं सारी मेल फिर से देख लेता हूँ मई की मई की पूरी मेल में देख लेता हूँ ये बात तो कोई मेरा ऐसी है जिसको रिस्पांस मैंने नहीं किया तो मैं उसको आज करूंगा ओके सर ओके सर थैंक यू सर ओके थैंक यू